make sure you check out our new sponsor, The Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good Filler One Boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's thehealthblaze.com starting December 20th. All right, appreciate everybody for tapping back in. Make sure that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the videos. Appreciate the little support. We on the road. Uh, appreciate all my supporters for real, for real. Uh, make sure that subscribe button, bell icon button, best way to help the channel out, share the video. All I'm saying is this, I'm convinced. If you go on DJ Vlad TV, you a snitch. That's all I gotta say. You a snitch. I don't care, or you got the potential to snitch. I don't care if you ask you a question and, and you don't answer like Yellow BZ did and say, oh, nah, you, you a snitch to me, man. And um, <laughs> one of the dudes, I can't remember his channel, Big Drama House, whatever his channel is, he have a good point, your old head nigga, man. He had a real good point. All these old dudes telling these dudes, these young dudes, all six nine, he a snitch. All oh, respect snitches. But the old heads be the main one snitching, bro. The old heads, I gotta say this, man. I've been watching back, hearing about Vlad TV interviews. And for him, do what you do. If these people coming to give you interviews and, and help you build the foundation, you already got a foundation to build your empire. I'm not knocking what you do. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm going to go on there, bro, and I'm a rapper, Yellow Beezy, Mo, whatever they got going on, or I'm a I'm a, a, a Fabulous or Jay-Z, if I'm going to go on there before I do an interview, and I've done interviews with, with other people before, okay? Hey, what don't you want to talk about? That's just professional journalism one-on-one, -on -one, all right? Go at anything you don't want to touch on before we do this interview. You know, I'm not going to put you on the spot unless I, unless, you know, unless, unless, unless we got that report like that. I did a thousand interviews. I know how you work. I'm not about to put you on the spot with a tough question. Before you sat down with DJ, DJ Black TV, I'm just using Yellow Beaches. I seen that first, you know, last, excuse me. And he, he like, dog, I don't want to talk about that. Kodak Black went up to Hot 97 with Ebro. Um, and he put him on the spot about his little situation he had going down in South Carolina. It's common courtesy, before we even do the interview, you reach out to my publicist, my manager, and, 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 and for artists now. Before you do those interviews, you go to the radio station so they don't try to seem like they trying to set you up or bamboozle you or whatever. Like, tell them, like, I'm not talking about this. And if they ask you about that, you get up, you do a Birdman's, you're done as you finish. You walk out, you don't mess with that publication, or you don't mess with that radio station again. You feel me? But dudes be going on there, oh yeah, you know, me and Tupac, you know, they be going around telling them all this, they be willingly doing it, I guarantee they probably never get paid for it. They snitching for free. They telling all these stories for free. They offering all this information for free. Oh yeah, I, I remember when Suge Knight, you know, uh, he was at the 7-Eleven and he stabbed his nigga named uh, uh, Lil Daryl. And that's that. That was a case. That was a cold case that never been closed before. And all of a sudden, somebody opened it back up. DJ Flag TV and solved the cold case. They be going around here telling stuff like, like it's different. I had a dude they used to do. I used to work out with. He used to uh, do uh, security for Tupac. He would tell us little stories. You know, like like oh, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like cool. But you out here going to Vlad TV knowing that he got this many million viewer, uh, sub subscribers and you snitching. And then you turn around and tell the youth, oh, don't snitch, don't rap. But all of a sudden, all these dudes that snitching, dog, getting out of jail, calling in radio stations, doing interviews, walking back through their old hood. Come on, that's a learned behavior. If the snitch is coming back then glorified, and the real ones that really put the work in, you know what I'm saying? The real ones that put the work in and didn't tell and, and took their bid and like a man or end up doing a death penalty, if they dead, who really wanna die? Who really, who really out here glorifying what Bobby Smurder did? He took more years. So all his homeboys could walk out with seven at once. They all could walk out at the same time. Do they talk about that? No, nah, them niggas and I, uh, in the beginning, everybody knew Snitch Nine was gonna snitch. Before he snitch, oh, free Six Nine, and free this nigga, free him, Trey, all them was saying, all oh, that free Six Nine. 
Well, who's glorifying Bobby Smart? They just forgot about the nigga, man. And maybe we get home, he'll be, he shouldn't have to pay for nothing in the city of New York. New York got so many known snitches, and it's the biggest city in America, I would believe. But you talking about glorified snitches, man? They got a ton of them. Ton of them. They got, it's the ton, just the ones that I know about. I'm not saying nowhere else got snitches, don't get me wrong. But, but I, all, all I'm saying is, they better treat smarter like a king when he come home. But you sit there and you do like take and you take the bend. People say, oh, he snitched to his legs. All these people snitched on him. If he snitched, he wouldn't be facing 55 years. You know what I'm saying? But all these old heads, they, they, they say, oh, man, don't. Oh, man, these young niggas they ain't do nothing but snitching and this and that. In my day, in my day, you snitched too. All you niggas was snitching. All you niggas on papers and somebody papers and stuff. One of the most biggest Instagram personalities. I ain't even gonna say the rapper name. All I know is he want people money. He, he give people money and then ask for it back. If you don't know who I'm talking about, then it is who it is. Documented rat and they protect him like he ain't. He got so many snitch tendencies, bro. So many snitch tendencies, man. Documented rat. And we, everybody know it, but they want to try to ignore it. All these old heads and snitches too. You go home, you do your bid, and then you go, you get out on DJ Vlad TV and you tell on everybody. You go on Vlad TV, I wouldn't even trust you, bro. I don't even care. Had DJ Vlad TV been DJ Drama TV, had it been DJ uh, Holiday TV, or some other black guy, I'm just trying to think of black DJs, DJ Kid Capri, all them brothers wouldn't willingly be going on DJ Vlad TV. I'm telling you, had he been black, and like I said, I ain't got no problem with what he doing. Hey, man, people willingly coming and tell you their life story and tell you and snitch on other people and snitch on themselves. Hey, bro, you got it, man. You got the magic to touch you in the wrong profession. You feel me? You need to be working with the FBI or the feds. They, I mean, DJ Vlad TV doing, they really have a true 98, 99 conviction rate because he out here doing real police work. Well, a lot of these other dudes, well, everybody just snitching. Everybody just, they just doing it because everybody willingly snitching. They say you facing life. Don't even know what the charges is. They just, Tyrone, Brittany, Robert, they doing the DMX. They telling stuff they ain't even know. Oh, damn, for real, he did. Come on, bruh. Come on, bro. <laughs> Man, but had it been a black guy holding the camera, they would, they'd be charging him a thousand to come up there and do an interview. Debbie Trump, find me the, the pure wine 11 Jordans with the with the with the gum bottom on the bottom. The, the only one of three in the world ever made. Don't give me the ones, the cheap ones from Asia. You know, I'm not coming up there unless my uh uh my 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 after pure water is 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 is, is, is 30 degrees chilled. Uh, only one and a half ice cube in there. If you got two, I'm not doing the interview. And that just show you how how black people are conditioned to submit to somebody of, 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 of that's not black. I'm not going, I'm not about to go do no interview with him, period. If I'm if I'm this thorough street dude and I'm this dude that's that's advocating no snitching, I'm not about to do no interview with him. On the cool. I'm not. Especially if you're not gonna clear the questions with him before and say, I ain't talking about that. Like, come on, man. Like I said, you go on Vlad TV, to me, you a snitch and you got the potential to be a snitch. And all these all here selling, oh, you know, you know, the youth need to stop snitching and stuff like that. Look here, if y'all didn't snitch, we wouldn't know nothing about snitching. If y'all passed the game down the proper way, then it wouldn't be that many snitches out here. But y'all start snitching when they made the Rockefeller Law, the Rico Law, and all that out there, man. But y'all know what it is. Good fella Sports TV. I want to tap, tap in on this debate. Glad I got an opportunity to. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Check our sponsor out, The Help Blaze, at thehelpblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow one boxing Get you 18% off to 100% all natural products. Check them out. Lotion, soaps, foot soaps, bad bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair parlor made, much, much more. Website, promo code, description. Share the videos one time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is. We gone.